Montana, man. DC4, man. Dropping at midnight. You did that. Yeah. One time for my player partner, man. The youngster in Jordan, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Day one, man. You know what I mean? A1 since then. You did that. I always tell the niggas this to turn me out, man. We coming from the studio. He said, you got the license? Yeah, I got my license. <laughs> Go ahead. Try this motherfucking Phantom. Go ahead. Drop it. Yeah. Oh, Phantom. It was a drop hit. That was like in 2007 man, or some was, shit. Yeah, it was a good little ways ago, man. But the thing is, you got it right. After about 500 snippets on Instagram of Meek Mill driving around to various places while listening to DC4, we finally have DC4. It has been released, ladies and gentlemen. So today I decided to purchase Meek Mill's DC4. Now you guys know, usually I come to you guys as Santa Claus and I got the links, I got the goodies, but this time around there seems to be no links, no one is sharing this anywhere, so I can't post you guys any links. Thanks, man if you want it you gotta go check it out on itunes and uh and streaming and stuff as of right now that is the only place to get it now surprising after listening to the whole album he hasn't said one word about drake he hasn't talked about beanie siegel none of that stuff is going on it's like he left all of that beef behind him when he did that freestyle on funk flex after that the beef is gone this dude does not talk about anybody even a game i swear to you i haven't heard one thing yet i'm gonna try to get this thing another listen maybe i'll find something but as of right now it honestly feels like he decided to put all beef behind him and just make good music now speaking about good music one song that sticks out to me of course is the song liddy now that features tory lanes meek mill tory lanes those two dudes they make good music whenever they come together and to be honest with you guys I think the best verse on this album comes from Tory Lanez on Liddy. You guys have to hear Liddy. Tory Lanez goes off on the hook. He goes off on his verse. He totally stands out. It's a shame this guy is not as big as he is, man. This guy should be way bigger. This dude is great. He makes great music, especially when he's on a hook, man. I mean, have you guys heard the song that he did with Joe Budden and Fabulous Flexing? Oh, my God. Tory Lanez, talk to him. Anyway, so my second favorite song right now I would think would be Offended. And that features Young Thug and 21 Savage. And once again, Young Thug decided to step up. Young Thug delivers a crazy verse. I believe he's on the hook as well. And Young Thug goes off. I believe that Young Thug delivered his best verse yet. And it was on this song. Young Thug is like, look, I'm going against 21 Savage. I'm going against Meek Mill. The spotlight is on me right now. Let me turn up. And that's exactly what he did. There's a bunch of other people on this album. It features Tory Lanez, of course, Lil Uzi Vert, Nicki Minaj, Quavo, Don Q, Young Thug, 21 Savage, YFN Lucci, Tracy T, Pusha T, Banks, French Montana, and RIP Lil Snoopy. Anyway, man, you guys have a great day. Thanks for checking out my videos. If you guys are new, be sure to subscribe. Let me know in the comment section what you guys thought about the album and also what you thought about the songs that I named. Peace.